Good morning, welcome back to Talking Sense. Uh, we've got another zoologist today, quick fire videos. Um, today, we were looking at Dragonfly. So after yesterday's kind of adventure with moth, uh, today we're gonna be looking at Dragonfly. It seems like it's possibly a bit more chilled out, a little bit less challenging, but who knows. The top notes are heliotrope, heliotropine, peony, aldehydes, raindrops, and lemon. Heart is cloves, iris, rice, lotus, and the base notes is moss, amber, musk, papyrus, and sandalwood. So that sounds pretty interesting. I really like lotus and peony. Um, I like the watery. I kind of vibe of lotus and I just like peony so there's a couple of my favorite florals in here and I also like the idea of having it like that kind of like rice raindrops and lemon that sounds quite nice I mean raindrops is obviously kind of a fantasy note but it, you know that kind of watery ricey lemony that sounds pretty good so I'm pretty excited about it um let's give it a go so I think it's probably going to be a lot less challenging than moth from yesterday um, but moth was great like I say set a high bar so um, yeah come on dragonfly you've got a lot to live up to okay it's um yeah it's a lot less challenging really nice and uh, the heliotrope is, is pretty big straight away got that kind of soft um, almond kind of vibe uh, the aldehydes as well are pretty strong in this one. Um, it's quite aldehylic. I mean, I can kind of see where they're coming from with the raindrop kind of thing. I feel I feel like it's, but it's, it's it smells sort of like it's got this sort of uh, like watery plastic kind of feel to it. Um, it, it. It's it's not like a humid rain to me. It feels almost like quite a um, like it's not if you were walk, to walk into like a greenhouse and you get that kind of humid kind of rain smell in there where the water's kind of condensation. It's much cooler than that. But it's but it's not overly watery either, which is interesting. Um, I thought, I was wondering if it's like, I've, I've got, a, I've smelled a few fragrances before um, where you have that kind of watery effect. Um, but this actually doesn't feel like super watery. It's, um, it's an interesting one. It's more like this kind of uh, sort of transparent plasticky kind of feel, um, which is, it's, it's, quite nice actually I don't know if I really feel like it's raindrops but I, I kind of get where they're coming from but otherwise the, the heliotrope is quite quite big but it's come down a step and um, the peony's kind of stepped up a little bit more so I would say the peony's kind of coming to the fore I tell you what I like about this peony is often when you get peony in fragrances it's, it's overdone and it's quite neon uh, this one's not it's quite actually quite subdued um, which I appreciate because I say I like peony as a note um, but it's often overdone and that sort of kills it a little bit but not so here this one is is very kind of subtle um, and, and I'm liking that already it's very pretty very um, gentle very soft very transparent so it reminds me a little bit of when you smell that sort of Jean-Claude Eleanor thing where it's all kind of like wishy-washy kind of watercolors um, on the florals and that that and getting that kind of vibe from it. But there is a little bit going on underneath. There is like a, a soft iris coming up um, with a kind of sort of a slightly soft powdery iris with a bit of a musk. Um, like, But it's right, right underneath that kind of um, what's kind of, I would say is the top, which is sort of aldehylic, heliotrope and peony kind of vibe. Um, but otherwise, yeah, that's about it. It's quite quite simple actually, um, but nice. I like it. Um, I, I will see how it develops, but so far it seems nice. It, it seems a little bit subdued, um, but as a, a kind of um, pretty sort of sparkly floral, um, so far so good. Um, I'm back. Good evening. I've been wearing Dragonfly all day. Um, it's literally all day actually it's 13 hours now still going strong which is one of the things i'm most impressed with about this fragrance but i'll, I'll come back to that um 
So it's pretty linear, actually. Um, after yesterday's kind of tumultuous affair with um, Moth, I, I, you know, this this fragrance has actually been really easy, um, really easy going. Um, it's a really pleasant fragrance and a fragrance that, you know, it's really easy to like. The main players throughout for me were um, the Lotus and the Peony, which um, I said the Peony is um, kind of dialed down, which I really, really liked. The Lotus is is one of the, say, the, the main players, and it has this kind of watery feel that Lotus often has. Um, and that, for me, is, is really the whole fragrance, actually. It's a really simple one. There's a lot of other notes in it, like the rice and the rainwater and all, all that kind of stuff. Um, but honestly, I, you know, I didn't really feel a lot, I got a lot of it. There, there, there was some sort of citruses, uh, uh, like a lemon um, that came out, um, and the lemon kind of blended with the edges of the peony almost, and, and became like inseparable, and that was really nice, and, and again, like really well done. Um, but otherwise, like, I didn't really feel like it kind of progressed much after that. It, it was basically lotus peony and this kind of watery feel um it's very transparent very wishy-washy um supposed to have sandalwood in the base i don't really feel that throughout the entire life it feels like there is something slightly kind of uh reedy and grassy and green under there that's kind of anchoring it and it, and it feels a little bit kind of um woody as well but it's, it's it's not really a big part of the fragrance really nice really pretty fragrance um, but quite um, say quite linear and quite easy the one thing that I say like I put it on like 13 hours and it's still going strong really impressed me with this fragrance is that this is 13 hours deep and it still smells as strong as when I sprayed it I mean it's dialed in like it's definitely become closer to my skin but the actual kind of um, punch and and impact of the fragrance is exactly as it was 12 hours ago um and that's really impressive i mean a lot of fragrances do that but what's really impressive with this one is it's so sheer and transparent and fragile um because it is it is a really fragile sparkly kind of transparent and sheer ethereal all these words definitely sum up this fragrance but it's impressive that it's still going after you know 30 because often you find with fragrances that kind of fit those descriptions that you know you'll find it all the time right that they're just gone in like six hours if that you know sometimes you spray them and they, they smell amazing and fragile but two hours later and you may as well have not bothered you know um but this one i was seriously surprised that i kept expecting it to be gone and it's still here which is pretty impressive but it's a really nice fragrance i say who's it for uh it, it definitely leans feminine in my eyes but a friend of mine came over after work and um we got kind of chatting about perfumes and that because I, I sort of meant i was well i cut his hair and then um, he asked me what i was wearing and i said um oh it's a dragonfly it's orange dragonfly he's not into fragrances but um I really enjoy like because because he's exactly precisely for the reason that he's not into fragrances I quite enjoy like chucking a fragrance at him that's quite challenging and seeing what he makes of it because it's always leads to some amusing descriptions so I gave him moth actually and I said I'll oh, try moth to see what you think of it and um, he really enjoyed that but after he smelt it um, he still came back and said oh, I really like the one and he pointed at one of the fragrances but the thing is we had I had a couple fragrances out that he was trying and um I, I said like, oh, well, this one, this one, this one. And he was like, no, 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 what, what's the one you're wearing? Uh, and I was quite surprised because he's this big rugged kind of um, landscape gardener. And, you know, he's got a beard and a chainsaw and things. You know, he's a proper bloody bloke. I was like, you're a dragonfly. And I, and I sort of put, like let him sniff it. And he was like, yeah, that's that's really nice. I really like that. Which surprised me because for me, it's a really feminine fragrance. Um, but even he enjoyed it. And, you know, it's as if he would enjoy wearing it. So. That surprised me. Um, despite that little anecdote, I think it still leans feminine. I think if you're a guy and you're comfortable with florals um, and you're comfortable with the kind of feminine leaning unisex fragrances, you could maybe dip your toe in this. Um, but it is definitely, to me, feels feminine in 
pretty much every way. I'd, I'd, I'd wear it um, happily. Um, I suppose there is like a, a touch of something woody in there that, that kind of brings it back a tiny bit, but it's it's there's no disguise in it. It's feminine. It, it's super versatile. I think it's really great as like a day day to day thing. Is the price of these fragrances? I mean, we, would you really want this as a daily driver? But it, it is a really good daily driver scent. You could wear it to like work anywhere. It's not going to offend anyone. I think it's definitely spring summer. Absolutely. I don't know if it would have the kind of grit to cut it in the colder weather. And uh, but I do think in the spring summer it would like nail it totally. I, th I think especially in the summer, um, it would just be really nice with that kind of watery vibe. Otherwise, really nice fragrance. Um, I, it is linear, which is fine. You know, I expected maybe a little bit more from Zoologist f in terms of progression, um, but that's not to take away really from the fragrance itself, which was really pleasant and. Um, really nice i really enjoyed it um i can i can see it just being a cracker of a fragrance for if, if you want like a sheer translucent very fragile floral that you can wear without any worries definitely this one there's nothing say like with zoologists they're often quite um you know crazy there's nothing crazy in this there's not anything kind of gross crazy interesting weird um all it is is a really, really, really well done floral with the big hitting notes being, it, for my money, um, peony and lotus. Um, and if you like those two florals, I would put this up there. I, I think it's the nicest peony fragrance I ever smelt, um, pretty much without a doubt. I really like the way it's subdued and they made it smell more perhaps one natural rather than kind of amped it up like it's often you know these neon peonies um and the lotus was nice as well because often you find with lotus they go a bit heavy on the kind of idea of water behind it but it was really done well with this one um so i think it's kind of a boring fragrance to a degree in the sense that it, it doesn't really have like a big story to tell but it's just really super well done and i do think i say like as far as peony fragrances goes probably my favorite peony fragrance that i've smelt so far um would i buy it um so i got all of these zoologist um samples because i want to buy something um so would i buy this yes i would definitely um i don't know if i'm i'm probably gonna buy moth over this one i mean the thing is they're two completely different scents they're, they're literally like the opposites so like moth is this dark kind of quite sort of sultry dark gothic beast of a scent and then and then this one is light and airy and ethereal and fragile and and all the rest of it as uh, they're, they're completely opposite scents i would love to buy them both and i probably will buy them both but i don't necessarily have the money to buy them all at the same time so i, I would buy it for sure and probably if i had to buy one of the two i would buy moth first for my own tastes and then dragonfly later um but you know that's purely a tasting um i think it's definitely worth my money and i would be happy to buy it um i think it's really nice really beautiful scent you couldn't say it's been done before it's nothing crazy original um it's probably its biggest negative but it's been done before but it's but this is extremely well done version um, tell you what it did remind me a little bit of is um, Sunny Alice by Vivian Westwood, which is a much cheaper fragrance. Um, they, they, the pair go different ways, um, but it, it reminded me a little bit of that. Um, I mean, Sunny Alice goes kind of more down this kind of like vanilla-y kind of thing, but it starts off with this kind of um, uh, florally, watery floral that that, that, that I, I, I thought I, it brought brought it to mind a little bit but but, but the two are very different they, they go you know diff down different pathways but the opening and, and it reminded me a little of, of that but yes yeah, so, so it's, it's nothing super original it's something that hasn't really been done before but it, it is done really well and and like I said at the start of this this morning I think I mentioned that you know peony is probably my favorite ever kind of floral for a perfume um, and and I think this is possibly the best peony I've ever smelt. So, you know, I think that probably says something. Or I hope, you know, it gets my point across that 
it's a nice fragrance. So yeah, that's pretty much Dragonfly. Um, thanks for watching. Um, like, subscribe or, or not. Um, cheers.